Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Earlier today, I was doing a live stream and one of the people in my live stream was asking me about the law of attraction and where to study it more. So I decided to just do a follow-up video and share my opinions and some of my experiences experimenting with the law of attraction. You know, I was gonna do this video outside, but it's so windy right now. There's these big gusts of wind coming and it would mess up the audio, so I'm just doing it from uh, in, in the car right here. So the Law of Attraction, uh, I got introduced to this because I watched a movie called The Secret with Bob Proctor and Joe Dispenza and a bunch of other uh, Law of Attraction practitioners and stuff. And The Secret was probably like the, the most mainstream documentary film about the Law of Attraction that I've ever seen. I mean, I think it got more views, more, it's translated into more languages than any other documentary film about the topic but that's where i got introduced to it it was called the secret and the whole theory behind this is that it's it's that your thoughts create your reality well after studying some different researchers and reading some different books about it um i i think it goes way beyond just your thoughts creating reality i think it's much more complex than just thinking thoughts and i think the law of attraction, the real word that should be used to describe it is the law of vibration or the law of resonance. And the theory goes like this. We are vibrational beings living in a vibrational universe and our thoughts, our emotions, and the words that we speak are creating vibrations. So every single person, our bodies are resonating at a very, very specific uh, vibration or a frequency. And the, those frequencies that in which we are resonating at is what's causing our reality to manifest. So if you're constantly in a state of fear and complaining and blaming other people and being a victim and you're negative all the time that's a very very specific frequency and when you're constantly vibrating in that frequency of negativity you're going to attract more negativity and more negative people into your life and then the opposite is true if you vibrate at the opposite frequency i mean if you vibrate at a frequency of wealth and success and abundance, then you're gonna attract more wealth and success and abundance. But I think that a lot of people don't get results using the law of attraction is because all they're doing is thinking the thoughts, but they're not vibrating at the frequency. Uh, see, there's, there's a big difference between feeling like you're confident and successful as opposed to just thinking with your analytical mind, I am confident and successful. Because you could say, I am confident and successful. You could say it over and over again, but if you don't feel it within your heart, then you're not truly resonating at the frequency of confidence and success. So you got multiple, multiple complex mechanisms that are calibrating your frequency. You have your analytical mind, which is constantly thinking thoughts and taking in data. And then you have your subconscious mind, which is taking in all the data and storing it. And you also have your emotional state, which is creating a signature vibration. And the subconscious mind, and the theory is that when you're young, when you're like between the ages of one and seven years old, before you have developed critical thinking, when you're at the, this age, your, your analytical mind will just let anything right through it into your subconscious mind because there's no critical thinking. You don't have like a firewall uh, to, to block out bad information or information that you think is untrue. So children are getting programmed uh, into their subconscious mind from a very, very young age and they're living to be teenagers, young adults into their 20s, into their 30s, and still running at these same subconscious programs that were programmed into them at a very, very young age because they didn't have any critical thinking or firewall to block it. 
and a lot of them never reprogram their subconscious mind. So you have all these different complex, um, complex aspects going on. And there's lots of different methods and strategies that I have read about and that I have heard, uh, listened to other YouTubers talk about, about how to use all these different uh, calibrating mechanisms to really create the most uh, effective vibration to attract what you want. So you got reprogramming the subconscious mind, you got the thoughts you think, you got the words you speak because words are vibration. Remember in, uh, in the Bible it says, in the beginning was the word. Well, what is a word? A word is a vibration. So in the beginning was a vibration and then that's how reality began to manifest through vibrations. And you can see, um, if you look up this thing, it's called cymatic frequencies. It's sound taking shape. And there's lots of experiments that have been done with cymatic frequencies where they put a layer of sand over a plate and then they vibrate the plate with different frequencies. And as they raise the frequency, the sand begins to vibrate and take complex geometric shapes and patterns and these complex geometric shapes and patterns are the same exact complex geometric shapes and patterns that we find all throughout the universe throughout nature throughout uh, the galaxies and space like the fibonacci spiral uh, we see the fibonacci spiral in all kinds of different plants and animals and humans and fish uh, in everything and we see the vibrations so it's, I mean, that to me is like proof that there really is something going on with this law of attraction, law of vibration, that vibrations really do create reality. And our bodies are like tuning forks and they can be calibrated to resonate at different frequencies. There's another experiment, if you look it up, it's called the tuning fork experiment. And it goes like this. If you have two tuning forks that are sitting right next to each other, not touching or connected in any way, and then you hit one of them with a hammer and it starts vibrating. And then the other tuning fork also starts vibrating even though it's never been touched. That's because they're calibrated to vibrate at the same frequency. Well, the theory goes is that our human bodies are just like those tuning forks. So again, if you're vibrating at a certain frequency, you're gonna attract other people of that same exact signature frequency. So that is the law of attraction in a nutshell. I think it's pretty interesting. I've experimented with it. Um, I've had some pretty profound results with it where I've hit the nail right on the head. Um, there's been other times where I've not had such profound results where I've com completely screwed it up. But again, you know, I've just, I've been experimenting with this. I'm not saying I'm a master or an expert at it. I'm like a student of the law of attraction and I'm still learning and experimenting with it uh, as I go through my journey. So one of the examples where I, I really had a, like literally hit the nail right on the head with an, uh, an affirmation that I started using was back in 2015 when I was trying to figure out how to increase my wealth. So I wrote down this affirmation and then I repeated it to myself over and over again every day. It was, I have a portfolio of assets that are constantly increasing in value. And I, I made this affirmation up myself after reading the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, where Robert Kiyosaki says that what the poor people do is they spend all their money on liabilities and the rich people invest their money into assets. So I just kind of formulated my own affirmation based off studying the law of attraction and studying Robert Kiyosaki's work. And it was, I have a portfolio of assets that are constantly increasing in value. And then shortly after, at the beginning of the very next year, I began doing affiliate marketing for an advertising company. And I had built a small client base that was purchasing an advertising product. And I was getting paid commissions every time people in this client base purchased the product. What happened was the clients started using a digital asset called Bitcoin to purchase the product. So next thing I, I know, I had this balance in my affiliate account for Bitcoin, which is a digital asset. And I, I was not even trying to earn Bitcoin. I had heard of it, but I didn't know exactly what it was. I didn't know exactly how it worked. I, I wasn't trying to acquire it, but it just happened by chance right after I used that affirmation. So I 
in order to withdraw my my balance, my Bitcoin balance, I had to like download a Bitcoin wallet and I had to learn about this technology. And then that's what actually led me down the path of learning about cryptocurrencies. So after I got my first Bitcoin, I I noticed that the price was not stable. So one day it would be worth, and this was back in 2016. So when I got this, I think Bitcoin was trading for around $450 a coin. And I remember uh, one the next day I looked at it and I was like, oh wow, now it's now it's worth uh, like 460 something dollars a coin. And then the next day it dropped back down to like 440 something dollars a coin. And I noticed that the value of it was fluctuating. And I was like, oh, that's kind of odd. So I began to look into it more and studying it. And then all of a sudden, two weeks later, Bitcoin goes from $450 a coin to $800 a coin. And I just doubled my money by keeping it in Bitcoin, by storing my wealth in that digital asset and instead of the bank. And that's what led me down my path of learning about all the other different cryptocurrencies. And now, I mean, years have gone by and I've been investing in all kinds of different digital assets. I, and I do have an asset uh, or a, a digital asset portfolio that has constantly increased in value ever since. I mean, I hold dozens of cryptocurrencies and almost every one of them has been constantly increasing in value ever since I got into it. Isn't that weird? Isn't that crazy? So that's just an example of one result that I got. And that's what led me down my path of continuing also to do to do the law of attraction and continue to do affirmations. I mean, I still do affirmations to this day. I have some written down that I just kind of take with me. And every now and then I, I pull them out and read them when I'm you know in my car or I try to do them every morning when I wake up. And it's it's been something that I've used within my business for the last five years. Anyways, that's my video. That's my opinions and some of my experiences with the law of attraction. Let me know what you think. Do you use the law of attraction? Leave a comment. Let me know if you've had any kind of results. And if you like this video, if you got value out of this video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next one.